All right, so we're gonna start case three tonight. Uh, this is this is kind of, you know, people talk about the third case syndrome where the middle case is always the weakest. I think that's true here as well, but this is still a decent case. Uh, the opening is really the opening's really gonna be confusing if you haven't seen this before. So just uh, strap in because it's gonna get weird. That's enough. This court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. This case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. It wasn't me. I swear it wasn't me. The evidence and testimony we have seen and heard are conclusive. The victim was alone at his table when he drank from that poisoned cup of coffee. No, you're wrong. I know what I saw. I saw... I saw... I saw someone else there. A man. He's the real killer. Why? Why won't anyone believe me? Well, I'd say that pretty much wraps this case up, wouldn't you? Mr. Wright? This court finds the defendant. This court is adjourned. On well, the two third cases, I don't just try to skip through. Yeah, it's a good case. It's a decent case. Ami Faith, your vase being broken twice. By the Fey, how clumsy are these people? This is that case, isn't it? Well, this case has some good moments. But it is that case of this game. January 6th, 10.03 a.m., right in company law offices. Ah, the start of a new year always makes me feel like I could take on the whole world. Bet it does, Maya. So I've decided that a resolution should be... Zvari! Take on the world! What do you think? Sure, whatever, Maya. But I think maybe you'd have more than enough mistletoe cake. Never. You gotta eat a lot of cake during New Year's. Practically a tradition. Like watching the fireworks on TV or playing a board game. Hey, pal! Detective Gumshoe. Happy New Year, Detective. Uh, likewise. Now listen up, Wright. I wanna... Here's to another fruitful year of law lawyer-police cooperation. Um, yeah, me too. Alright, pal, you've got some explaining to... Have you got a holiday present for me, Detective? A what? Well, I, um, here, have this. It's, uh, really nothing much, but... Yay, thanks. Look, pal, we need to have a talk. Take a seat. Hey, what about Pearly? You haven't forgotten her present, have you? Uh, no, I mean, yes, I mean, no. Are you doing this on purpose? I <laughs> guess I'm busted. How'd you like my first practical joke of the year? Very funny, pal. Now let's see how funny you think it is when I show you this. What is it? A magazine? Hey, I want to see. Deadly poisoning brings guilty verdict. Defense attorney Wright trounced? Tr trounced? Let me see that. The defense attorney gave an almost childishly... The defense attorney gave an almost childishly amateur performance yesterday. What the heck is this? It's a report, pal, about you! Listen to this. Mr. Wright must take full responsibility for the ruling in this case. Well, and don't tell me you don't remember anything about it. But I don't remember anything about it. When was this issue from, anyway? Um, December of last year, which I guess makes it last month. Which makes it old news, you mean. But I wasn't involved in a poisoning case in December. Hmm, so what do you think this is all about, Nick? I just learned about a fruitcake called Stalin the other day. It sounds yummy. I think I've had Stalin before. I've heard the name. Certainly heard the name. Dude. You wanna eat a cake now? Nice. If it wasn't you, pal, then that leaves only one possibility. No way. You don't mean... A fo A phony Nick? This must be Gumshoe's idea of a joke. Guess he's starting off the year with one, too. An article from December 5th says I tr was trounced and my client was found guilty. So, what are you gonna do about it, pal? All important badge, wrecks people with secrets in their hearts.
What do you mean, what am I going to do about it? Well, it's your fault the judge found the defendant guilty in this case. My fault? How do you figure that? Because the Phoenix Wright is super famous now. Well, maybe only sort of. You see? Yeah, see, this is what happens when you hotshots start getting too full of yourselves. But I didn't do anything wrong, at least not that I can remember. I want to smack the entire police department and the jurisdiction department because they didn't have a character profile background check. This is really stupid. You're right. This, 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 this setup is stupid, but it's great. You better make this right, pal. Now! And that means taking the case back to court. Got it? Sounds like we got our first case of the new year. Let's tackle it with gusto. I don't know. The judge already issued a guilty verdict once in this case. It's not going to be easy to get it overturned. Guess that New Year's resolution is going to have to wait until next year. So you're taking the case, right? Good. I'm going to head over to the courthouse then. After that, I'll go back to the precinct. Drop by if you need something, okay, pal? Yeah, they actually check where Phoenix was during that case. I guess people are starting to know the name Phoenix Wright. If a client entrusted a, to a case to me is based on my reputation, I guess I am kind of responsible. But why would someone want to impersonate me? What sort of guy would do that? What kind of guy are you are? I assume they had actual proper paperwork, but you know, logic, yeah. So what's our first move? Guess we go down to the detention center and talk. Wait a second, Nick. This person's bar behind bars because of you. Whoever it is isn't going to be jumping at the chance to meet you, right? Hey, hey, let's get one thing straight. It wasn't me. It was a fake me that did this. Hmm. I wonder if he looks exactly like you. You're phony. Zin Eop, I mean. I love that line. I hope not. Ugh. And what kind of name for an evil double is Zin Eop, anyway? Ah, Nick, I've got it! If you're going to ask whether I've got a twin brother, the answer is no. I capture that for reasons. Spoil sport. Did you notice Gumshoe was acting weirder than usual, or is it just me? Edgeworth returning, finding this bullshit, with a little backhand slap a lot of people, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, he was really worked up. Like a guy who just found out he's going to be a dad or something. Yeah, I guess he was acting kind of strange. Maybe he realized he's got strong feelings for you, Nick. Considering how we interact, I seriously doubt that, Maya. Well, if he wasn't nervous because of you, then maybe it's because of our new guilty client? I can't believe you've got an impersonator. I can't either. Ah, but look at the bright side. Only famous starts have people impersonating them. This isn't funny, Maya. It's not just impersonation. This guy stole my whole identity. And someone may have been wrongfully convicted as a result. Guess you should have gone into showbiz, huh, Nick? I'll never understand how your mind works, Maya. Do you know anything about this, Maya? Hmm. Even if someone's worldly wise as I don't know everything, so I, the great Maya, am sad to say I can't tell you much about this object. Simple yes or no, Maya. It's not as if you had to give me a dissertation. So you've still got that badge, I see. Huh? Well, I'm a lawyer, aren't I? Yeah, but I didn't think you'd just keep on being one for this long. You have to admit, you've had some close brushes with death because of your job. I fail to see how being a lawyer is more dangerous than channeling dead people. Mia helped me out in court again last time so cool that you got to meet my sis like that. Yeah. We mediums lose consciousness when we're channeling, so I don't get to see my sis. I never really thought about it that way. Hey, if you want to meet Mia, why don't you just have Pearls call her? No, I couldn't do that. I'd be too worried about her. Guess Maya's got all sorts of things to think about, too. Despite her immaturity saying otherwise. So you still can't remember anything about Godot, huh? I already told you, I have no idea who he is, let alone why he dislikes me so much. Well, maybe he sure, he sure seems to have a problem with you for some reason. You better watch your back, Nick. Coffee lovers can be quite bitter. You're just making that up, Maya. Digging up an old case that's already been ruled on, that's not like Gumshoe at all, is it? No, he barely manages to stay on top of the cases in front of him. Yeah, he's always busy, and gets dirt pay. I mean, look at the dusty old coat he wears. Do you mean he gets paid dirt, or that you really think he, they pay him in, in gravel? They've had some close brushes with death because of your job. Glare's at case 2-2. Yeah, Maya, Phoenix is definitely the one in danger. So, how's your spirit medium training go- Spirit- How's your spirit medium training going? Well, I stand under the rushing waters of the shower head every day. That's called taking a shower. What happened to the rushing waters of a waterfall? 
Well, I'm kind of taking a break. I'm having a bit of trouble right now, you know? Last year's incident must still be on her mind. I haven't seen Maya train at all since that time. I think Mia said it's because Maya's kind of torn these days. The bellboy's gonna send me a greeting card this year, too. Actually, I've neglected these books for so long, they're covered in a layer of dust. Guess I should at least pretend to read them once in a while. I don't use it much, so it's still super neat and tidy from when Purse cleaned it. Purse, purse, when Purse cleaned it. Blah, blah, blah. January 6th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. This is so nerve-wracking, waiting to meet our new client. wonder what kind of person you tricked and found guilty. Keep it down, Maya. That kind of talk could ruin me. Ah! How could you, Mr. Wright? How could you do this to me? Yep, it's her again. The unlucky goddess herself. They put me in solitary. I haven't been able to stop crying. Aren't you... Y yes, I am. I'm totally and utterly let down. Ah, uh, you're... Are you... Don't pretend you don't know me. It's me, Maggie, remember? Maggie Bird. Maggie Bird. Ah. Maggie Bird. She's the policewoman I defended that one time. She was accused of murdering her lover. He was a cop, too. What are you doing in here? Didn't I get you a quit? Oh, sure. Very funny. After that fifth-rate defense job, you come in here and start making jokes? Better hurry up and tell her what happened, Nick. Oh, I, I see. So that's where we stand right now. I'm sorry you've been caught up in another murder. My whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and misfortunes and failures. No background checks, no suspicions, no way of asking why his voice sounds weird, just pure assuming. Yeah, this is totally right. LOL. Yeah. <laughs> Vaguely remember saying the exact same thing last time. But I don't mind. What's one more disaster in my life? At least not at least now the real Mr. Wright is here with me. And won't the world keep me down, sir? Guard monitors the visitor's room. But they don't get too many waitresses in here. Looks like he's getting a bit restless. Also, if it's been a month since she's been convicted, why is she still in her waitress outfit? We did love on the handle introducing characters from previous games. It's a fun way of pulling them in without either just exposition or saying, LOL, go play the previous game. We don't care. Yeah. So how come you're dressed like that, Maggie? Last year, you looked so sharp in that police uniform. <laughs> I was fired after that incident last year. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Gotta save budget and mo money. They gotta save some money in the budget for lunches for the staff, yeah. It's okay. I don't mind one bit. I enjoyed being on the force, but I think it was time for me to move on. So what do you do now? In the second act of The Life of Maggie Bird, I'm playing the role of a waitress. A waitress? Yes, in a French restaurant. It's a small place, but it's quite fashionable. My charming smile and shapely figure came through for me. And the owner, Mr. Armstrong, hired me straight away, sir. And you got into this mess straight away, right? Yeah, you could put it that way. Sprite limitations, if I recall correctly, the GBA cartridge of this game's initial release was practically full. I know, but why didn't they just give her a different costume altogether? Like, why does she have to wear a waitress outfit if she's been solitary for a month? This whole mess started on the 3rd of last month. And it happened at Trey Bien. Trey Bian? Yes, it's a restaurant where good service and a friendly smile are always included. Oh. There were two men at the table, both drinking coffee. And then... Yeah, of course you would like that character, Karma. God damn it. We're probably not going to see him tonight. One of the men slipped some poison into the victim's cup. The victim took just one sip and was gasping for air. I was so shocked I passed out. 
Hey, hold on there, Maggie. What? You keep calling the guy the victim. Didn't you know the guy who was killed? Not at all. I'd never seen the guy before. Oh. So she wouldn't have had a motive to kill him then, I guess. And the other man, the killer. You saw him too, right? Of course, a good waitress must be attentive to the clientele. So you saw the killer, but you were found guilty of the crime anyway? How come? You tell me, Mr. Wright! Guess the answer, guess the answer to that question is my phony. Well. Anyway, she saw the killer. Better see if I can get a description of the guy. So if you saw the murderer, why were you still convicted? Because no one else saw. Saw what? The other man. The one who put the poison in the victim's coffee. Everyone testified that way. Mr. Armstrong, the customer, everyone. The victim was sitting alone at his table the whole time. But how's that possible? I don't know, but nobody, not one person would believe me, sir. So I'm still baffled by the sheer incompetence of the jury and people of the law not to see anything strange. At this point, it's just accepted. Even Phoenix Wright, my one hope for a fair trial, failed me. What a pathetic defense. My granny could have done a better job. Look, that wasn't me, okay? And then, they found something in a bit incriminating in my apron pocket. What? A small bottle of poison. What? Poison? It was in your pocket? Well, I passed out when the victim collapsed. The killer must have slipped the poison into my pocket when I was unconscious. Don't forget, no jury. It is Japan, after all. Yeah. And no one else saw this other guy? No, sir. That's what everyone said. But I don't see how they could have missed him. Other guy. I was the one who took the coffee to the two men. Oh, and what was your impression of them? Well, when I first saw them, I kind of thought they might be in the music industry. In music? How come? Well, one of them had some sort of earpiece and an emo musician's look about him. And there was a sample CD on the table, sir. An earpiece and a sample CD, huh? Did you get a good look at the CD at all? It had a band's name written on it. I think it was MC something. Must have been preparing for their debut, I guess. So it was a band's CD. Maybe a promo disc? Maybe it was MC Screwdriver. Get serious, Maya. Would you buy the CD of a group named that? Who would buy who would buy a CD by an MC tool name? Come on. What was that name again? MC Hacksaw? No, MC. And what about the killer? What did he look like? Well, um, I don't really remember. Only that he was a young man, well built like the victim, really. Waitress at Trebien was found guilty of murder thanks to the phony me. Age 23. No matter what happens, I never think let things get me down. You're always so positive, aren't you, Maggie? Macho Maggie Bird, they say. The early bird catches the worm. A bird in the hand? Wow, all those phrases are named after you? And I never turn my back on anything. You're always so strong, aren't you, Maggie? Macho Maggie Bird, they say. I'm a tough old bird. Tough old bird, Nick. <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah, I get it. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. He really looked out for me when I was on the force. Have you seen him recently? No, he's never been to the restaurant. Guess he's not a fan of French cuisine, huh? He's an instant noodle type of guy, after all. Yeah, he prefers the simple things in life. Or he's just simply too poor to afford anything else. I know I used to be on the police force, sir, but I'm incarcerated now, so I can't use my connections to help you. All I can tell you about now is info about ex-cons or the clientele of Trey Bien, sir. Oh, don't let it get you down, Maggie. I know it. Okay. Thanks, to your, thanks for your help last year. Oh, that was nothing. I'm glad to get we got you off the hook. I hope you can help me out this year, too. Yeah, me too. It'd be sweet if we could get that verdict overturned. That badge! Is it real? Of course it's real. That's what they all say, but I've been duped before. Give it to me for a second. Ah! She... she bit into it. And I left a few teeth marks, too. 
I could see that. I just wish I could remember if the real if that means it's real or fake. Uh, I said it was real. Oh yeah, I need to ask you about this. Hey, this article is about my case. Can you tell me anything about the guy who's pretending to be me? Yes, sir. It was the morning after I'd been arrested. I met you here in the visitor's room. You were wearing one of your super sharp suits. Me? Yes, you, Mr. Wright. Ah. Uh, hey, Maggie, was my- was my evil double I am there, too? I am. No, I don't remember a phony you, Maya. Oh, it would have been so cool. Then you really got worked up and passionate. She ate my court badge. She ate my court badge? <laughs> I'm gonna get you declare. I'm gonna get you clear to declare. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get you clear to this crime, you said. Okay, I get the picture, but you met me in person before. So how come you didn't realize this guy wasn't me? I am. I am. Ha! That's a good pun, actually. Hey, V2, you're up late. I guess, looking back now, it was a little strange. Only a little? Well, okay, so you were a bit taller than normal, and you looked a bit shady. And your voice was a bit weird, and... So the guy was nothing like me then! But he had your spiky hair and blue suit. Is that all it takes for someone to imitate me? How about everyone else in the courtroom, like the judge and the observers? Didn't they realize he was an imposter? Everyone had these big question marks on their faces. But it seemed like no one wanted to say anything, sir. This case just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Mr. Wright, do you think it's possible to get a, retri a retrial? Probably. The court ruled in the absence of a genuine defense attorney. So we should be able to get a retrial. Um, Mr. Wright? Do you think we'll win next time, sir? My life has been a full course meal of bad luck, complete with defeat for dessert. Since I was six months old when I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment building. I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick from all sorts of foods, failed at almost every test I've taken, experienced almost every kind of disaster. I even landed a phony lawyer when I had the misfortune of being accused of murder. Again. But I will survive, because Maggie Bird always lives to fight another day. Just finished watching your streamer, friend. He streams every Thursday and goes until 1.32 a.m. your time. Oh, nice. I'm only going to go a little longer here. I'm actually going to switch to Tetris very soon. And one day I'll find it. Just you wait and see, sir. I'll find that one single moment of good luck. Ah, Zin Eop is really going to pay for this. What are you starting, staring at me like that for? Amaya's right. Whoever it is that thought to use my name, whoever thought it was a good idea to use my name, and get an innocent girl convicted of murder, had better watch out. We'll find him. Don't you worry. We'll get Zin Eop for you. Thank you. Oh, I'll tell you where Trey Bien is then. Trey... Ah, right. The restaurant where the murder took place. Yes, sir. When you go, please tell Mr. Armstrong I said hi. Sure. Alright, Nick. Let's go check out this restaurant and its food. Police Station. Criminal Affairs Department. It's been ages since we came down to the precinct, huh, Nick? Looks like Gumshoe still isn't around. He's got it so easy, leaving everyone else to do the work. No, I bet he's out He's out there somewhere. My bet is on the courthouse. He's probably trying to arrange the retrial of this case. Guess that means we should go to the detention center and chat with our killer, huh? After being convicted without a fair trial, I'm not sure a killer is the right label. And also, we already did that. This must be the chief of detectives here. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Mask and mask turned up at the bank? What's he doing? Hands up, you scalawags. You're under arrest. Hey, that's our job. Precinct. More like pre-stink. Looks like Rondelite's opted for a new career. Quit surfing the net, chief. So sorry, I was just, um... Things feel pretty tense in here. Poster of a female police officer. Wait, no. That's the latest babes in uniform, Calendar. My bad. Just like every year. These are the detective's desks. There are computers and files on each one. Funny, they're a lot tidier than I expected. Guess the detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desks. Hey, that's the police mascot, isn't it? It's so cute. That's the blue badger. It was my idea. I made it. And now it's the national symbol of the police force. 
So what's the pink one? It's new, right? She's not an it, Nick. She's a she, right, Chief? Yep, meet the pink badger. So one's called blue and the other's called pink, but they're both called badger? You got it. They're married. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Badger seem to be cuffed together, Chief. You got it. That's marriage for ya. Whoa, a mascot that's deeper than the deepest of deep oceans. Babes in uniform, but just frogs wearing hats or costumes. <laughs> I'd like that calendar. No clues here. That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. Don't die running a red light. Die the old-fashioned way. Of, a of old age. We have a winner. Inject a bit of humor. That's the key. He must be coming up with slogans for a safety campaign. I guess. Tress Bean. Pink. Wow, look at this place. Look, more like smell. What's with that suffocating scent of flowers in here? And again, girls like that kind of thing, right? Actually, I'm not that much all into it. No one's coming to see us. Maybe there's no one here. Don't be silly, Maya. This is a restaurant. It's open for business. Hello, anyone here? I don't believe it. There really isn't anyone here. Perfect. Let's get intrusive. If there's no one here, we can take anything we want. Yeah, I suppose we can. Look, it's one of those magical boxes that spits out money. You know you're the only person in the world who ever described a cash register in that way. Look at the little trinkets tucked away in here. I bet Mr. Armstrong collected all these personally. Let's see, a bouquet of flowers, some potpourri, and look! Fin bone, fine bone china cups. Never knew you were so cultured. Come on, Maya, this is common knowledge. Any Joe Schmo knows this much. It's full, a rack full of fashion magazines, and they're all in French. Why don't you try wearing something a little bit more chic sometime, huh, Maya? Yeah, I guess I could. I'm always in my acolyte clothes, aren't I? It'd be fun to wear normal clothes every now and then. Hmm? There's something stuffed behind the behind. Yeah, something stuffed in behind the rack. Looks like a sports paper to me. Hey, and look at this. Someone scribbled a little doodle on one of the pages. Really said finny? Yeah, no, I realized my mistake. That's why I said fine. Because I thought it was like a foreign thing. Like the music here. Yeah, it's good. MC Bomber, and one, two, three, four, five zeros. <laughs> For the pass and the cheek. Eh. Passe. A hundred thousand dollars, maybe? I wonder what MC Bomber is supposed to be. This paper, it's from December 3rd. This paper is from the day of the poisoning. What? Dates from December 3rd, the day of the incident, found at Trey Bien. Paper from the day of the murder. This has got to be a clue. Should see if I could find out more about this paper. Yeah, it looks stunning in some of those Parisian frocks, huh? Found that sports paper behind this magazine rack. Better find out everything I can about it. It's the restaurant's front entrance. There's a sign hanging on the door, on the door written in French. Probably says open or closed. Must be one or the other, but I don't know which since I don't know ja I don't know Jacques about French. <laughs> Good pun. Well, I once wanted a calendar for fun, but we drew characters we had from made up from a manga we drew growing up. Oh, that's cute. Wow, it's beautiful winter wonderland out there. Really? Cool, I love snow. Let me see. Huh? It's not even white. It's not even snowing. Got you. I was only kidding, Maya. Nick, there are lies that are okay to tell, and there are lies that definitely aren't. All I did was tell an itty-bitty white lie about some non-existent white snow. This table's set nicely. It just needs a customer. What do you think this flower is, Nick? Let's see. Well, it doesn't look like a tulip, and it's not a sunflower, I don't think. 
duh, even I could have told you that. Well, there are only things only those are the only kind of flowers I know. Dag Nabbit, I'm a lawyer, not a botanist. This restaurant has partitions that separate the tables. When you're seated at a table, you can only see the tables to your left or right. <coughs> this must be the table where the murder occurred. I guess so, with all the police tape around it. And that stain must be from the poisoned coffee. Don't go licking the tablecloth, okay, Maya? Why would I lick it? I'm not a cat, you know? And why can't I just picture you doing that? Oh, did we actually observe everything here? I think we did. Yeah, didn't you date a flower, Phoenix? Yeah, Dahlia. Okay, that's everything we can observe here. So it's time to, uh... It's time to stop. It's actually time to stop. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Got a half hour this case in. Nice little... Nice little preview. One more save, just for safety's sake. Got a nice little preview of this case in. And, uh, yeah. We're gonna be seeing more of that real soon. Again, this is kind of the low point of the game, but... It gets good, and once it's finished, the rest of the game's like... Amazing. So, yeah, this case, uh, it's, it's not a bad case, but it's definitely the low point of the game. So, that's going to be it for this tonight. Uh, I'll be back with more of it next week, probably Monday or Tuesday. We'll see. But, I'm not done just yet. Uh, stick around for just a moment. I'm going to do the Tetris 99 Maximus Cup that's going on right now. So, uh, yeah, stick around. Be right back. <laughs>